Hey guys, it's my Kia and I'm back with another video. Yes, it's me. I know I'm looking a little different. I got my little Bow Wow braids going on right now. But it's me y'all, I promise. So, you know that things are real when I just turn on the camera, no makeup, with straight backs in my hair. You know that it's real what I'm about to talk about. So I just had to, I felt compelled to make this video right now. I didn't have time to do the makeup. These are my pure emotions. So I'm just like, let me just go ahead and run with it. Um, I have been struggling with my weight my entire life. From the time that I was, from when I can remember, I've always been the bigger cousin, the chubbier friend, the thicker one, you know, all those things. And each year I'm like, oh, it's a new year. I'm about to get on it. I'm one of those New Year's resolutioners. Like, oh yeah, this is going to be my year. Summer, I'm going to be lit. You know, like my shit going to be on fleek, et cetera, et cetera. And every year summer comes so fast and I'm like, damn, I thought I was supposed to be on fleek. Like all oh, shit, you know, like what did I do? Where did the time go? So, nevertheless, this is not going to be one of those years, y'all. And I'm going to tell you why it's not going to be one of those years. Because I've changed my mind. I had to program in my mind that this is not going to be a diet. Like, this is not going to be a diet. I didn't gain this weight in a certain amount of time. So, I'm not going to lose in a certain amount of time. And then this is going to be all over. And I'm going to just be fit and slim thick and looking bad. You know, like looking cute as hell. No, like it's not going to work like that. In my head when I thought about it, I'm just like, this is going to be a lifestyle change. Like, diet, no. That word, I just need to get that word out of my head because it's not a diet. This, I'm going to have to change my life. This is something I'm going to have to do for life. Once I get to my goal, I'm going to have to maintain that goal. And when I change my mind and start thinking about that, I said, my kid, you have to make small steps to get to the bigger goal. But once you get to that bigger goal, it's not going to end there. This is going to be for life. And I just got like, okay, are you in this for life? Yes or no? I'm like, eh, life, man, girl, that sounds like a little long. But then I'm like, how bad do you want this? You know, how bad do you want to be healthy? How bad do you want to feel good about yourself? How bad do you want to be looking bomb when you want to beach this summer? How bad do you want to stop feeling insecure about your body? How bad do you want to just love yourself 100%? And I want that shit real bad. Like, I want that bad. More than anything, I want to be healthy. Like, that's the number one goal. I just want to be healthy. I want to, you know, be at a healthy weight. I want to be at a healthy BMI. And third of all, I just want to look bomb. Like... And I want to feel good about myself. I want to feel just like, oh shit, like I'm on fleek, you know? Like, bitch, who gonna check me? Who? I'm waiting. Like, I want that feeling. And to get that feeling, I'm gonna have to change some things. I'm gonna have to just go ahead and do it. So today is January the 20... Hold on. Today is January the 21st. And since the new year, I have made small changes and I have seen small results. I mean, it's only been 21 days, but thus far I have not drinking anything other than water. I have been watching what I ate. Um, I've done the JJ Smith 10 day green smoothie cleanse two times. I'm on round two right now. I'm on round two, day five. Um, the first time I did the cleanse, I lost nine pounds in the first 10 days. I'm gonna just like kind of detoxifying my body and Sorry. <laughs> it was kind of detoxing my fire my body and you know just like cleansing my system. So I know the nine pounds was just probably like water weight or whatever. But round two, I'm in the cleanse and I'm down. I'm on day five and I'm down five pounds. So yeah. Um, but after I did the first cleanse, it I ended my cleanse on like a Saturday. The tenth day was on like a Saturday, which was terrible. I went to somebody's birthday party and I just binge I ate cake I ate this I'm like oh I've been doing good for 10 days like it's okay if I do this for like this weekend if it's okay if I eat some cake this weekend it's okay if I eat a, a couple pieces of fried chicken this weekend and that shit showed up on the scale and I was like uh-uh girl 
back it on up. You did great for 10 days. Don't fall off on 11th, 12th, and 13th because it's the weekend. And because that's going to roll over into the 14th, 15th, and 16th. So it's just like a mind thing. Like I had to change my mind. I was like, nope. Right back on the cleanse. Starting fresh, doing a, another 10 days. And I'm back in it. Day five. And I'm feeling good. I'm feeling energized. I feel great. Um, another thing that I have been doing is journaling. I have been keeping a journal, um, and on the front I just taped like a motivational quote. Shit is just falling. I taped like a motivational quote on the front of my journal, and every single day I journal. Let me show y'all. I ain't gonna tell y'all what I be right, what I wrote, but every day I journal. I started it off with some goals and I set some dates of when I want my weight to be a certain date and every day I just write I write about how I'm feeling and what I'm thinking and you know like every day I just write so yeah I set some goals and I'm going to accomplish those goals guys I wrote down ooh, sorry <laughs> I wrote down some specific dates that are significant to me. Um, I'm going on a couple trips this year, a couple vacations, and yeah, I want to be a certain size and a certain weight and by then. So I feel like my ultimate goal is to lose at least 10 pounds a month, which is like two pounds a week, and I think that's a healthy weight loss go I think that's achievable I think that's realistic like you gotta be realistic with yourself so that's what I'm trying to do like be realistic with myself everybody want to lose like 20 pounds in two weeks but I know ultimately it doesn't work like that um so I'm going to Atlanta in February so I want to be at least 15 pounds down by the time I go to Atlanta which is in a month I'm going to Atlanta February 24th and today is January 21st so it's like a month and a couple days. I want to be at least 15 pounds down by then. That's an achievable goal, I think. Because I'm already about 12. Yes, yeah, I'm probably going to be more than that by then. Because I'm already halfway there. I'm about 12 pounds down. So, yeah. Maybe I could say 20 pounds by then. Or am I pushing it? I don't know. But, um, yeah, I just calculated how many weeks until these specific dates. So, like, how many weeks until spring? How many weeks until summer? How many weeks until I go to Jamaica this summer? And how many weeks until my 23rd birthday? And, yeah. So, like, by the time, by summer, I want to be at least 40 pounds down. So, I have January. Summer's June 21st. So, I have February, March, April, May, June. Five months to lose... Yeah, I said 10 pounds a month, so that's that'll be 50 pounds. Shit, I'll be at my goal. But I know that it's not a goal. I need to get that out of my head. This is gonna be a lifestyle and a, a journey. But yes, guys, um, this time is gonna be different because I'm taking you guys along the journey with me. Um, you guys, me posting this video will help me stay accountable, guys. It will help me stay accountable because I know that somebody is watching. I know that somebody is looking. And I know if y'all see me in the Chick-fil-A line, y'all gonna be like, Girl, didn't you just post a video about weight loss? I thought you was trying to lose a couple pounds. What did you add Chick-fil-A for? So I know that this video will help me stay accountable because I know that people are watching. And that's maybe the motivation that I need to say, get your shit together, like whip myself into shape. And it's just like, ultimately I know I can do it. It is hard. If you have never dealt with weight loss issues or if you have never been overweight or obese or chubby or thick or the bigger friend if you have never been in those situations you don't know how it feels um people may not look at you that way but you look at yourself that way and it's not a good feeling i just want to be confident i want to be confident when i walk into a room most of the time i'm the person who is in the background i don't want to be front and center i don't want to take this to the main stage i don't like speaking in front of people that's just not me i don't like that and that's a part of me building my confidence i should be able to speak in front of a room i should be able to walk into a room with my head held high youtube is different from me this is going to be different from me when i post this video guys if y'all ever see this video trust i probably contemplated 50 times before i uploaded this if you ever see this then that's a step right there because i literally I can't even believe that I'm up here with no freaking makeup on. Like, what am I thinking? We're freaking street bags. Like, 
girl, what are you thinking? But it's gonna be a journey and I'm ready to fight. I'm ready to fight for what I want. I'm worth it, like, I'm worth it. I am worth it. And you are worth it too. If it's something that you want, you gotta go get it. You gotta go do it. Like, you gotta put your foot down and just be like, I'm done with the games, I'm about to go do it. So yes, that is my spill. I just had to come up here really fast. This video is not gonna be too long. I know I'm probably talking fast because it's just so many emotions in my head. Like y'all, my head goes from one thing to the next, to the next, to the next, to the next, to the next. To the next. And I can do it. Like I can do it. You can do it. Like I can do it. And I'm going to do it. Like I am. It's hard, y'all. If you, like I said, if you've never been in a situation, you probably look at this video like, girl, shut up. Like, you, it's not that serious. But if you've never had to try to lose weight or never had to try to change your eating style or never just had weight issues, period, then you will never understand. So this video may not be for you or this series may not be for you. But, hey, if you with it, I thank you. If you're with it, thank you. If you will help me stay accountable, thank you. If you will check up on me and see how I'm doing, thank you. And I'll do the same for you. If you're in the same predicament, please comment below. I will follow your channel. I will text you. I will email you. I will add you on Instagram or something. And we can network together. We can figure this out together. We can share tips with each other. And we can just motivate each other to continue to do it and continue to grow and continue to just be great and continue to work towards the ultimate goal, which is to be healthy and to be happy. So if you like this video, please don't forget to subscribe. Um, I'm up here with no makeup on with straight backs. So just go ahead, that should get a subscribe by itself because like, who does that? Nobody, uh, you know, every girl, every black girl, period. Every girl knows that like when your head, when you ain't got no bundles or nothing, you just, your face just be all out. I'm up here showing all my imperfections. I'm just, so that just deserves to subscribe. Every girl knows that when you got some straight backs, your, either your face gotta be beat, or you gotta have one like some hoop earrings, or you gotta have one bomb ass outfit or something. Like everybody know that. Everybody know that when you got braids, like your shit gotta be on fleek. But hey, I just had to come up here and talk to y'all cause y'all my homegirls and y'all just my friends. Like I love y'all and I appreciate y'all. Thank you for watching my channel. And we in this together. Don't forget to follow me on social media to keep up with my journey. If you'd like to see more videos like this, or if you'd like to keep up with my weight loss journey, or if you'd like me to post like my meals or my workouts, or just like update y'all weekly, please comment below and let me know what you wanna see. And until next time, guys, I love y'all.